let's describe the neck muscles and we can divide the neck into the superficial neck and then the anterior triangle and the posterior triangle while further delineating the anterior triangle into a suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscles. As you can see, this is our head model. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's first start off with our superficial neck. One muscle that's actually missing is actually the platysma. It would be actually a very, very thin sheet-like muscle that kind of covers over all this stuff. Even this muscle right here, that's considered a superficial neck muscle. In, the, in addition, we have this long neck muscle, which is coming from the mastoid process going down to the sternum and the clavicle, and that's why it's aptly named the sternocleidoid mastoid. So this is the sternocleidoid mastoid. It actually separates out between the anterior and posterior triangles of the neck. And so let's take a look at the anterior triangle neck. As I had described before, the anterior triangle of the neck is delineated into a suprahyoid and an infrahyoid muscles. So let's take a look at the suprahyoid muscles, four muscles altogether that I want you to know. First one is this guy right here. It's called the digastric, literally saying two bellies. One that comes from the mandible to the hyoid and then swips around and goes to the mastoid process. So that is digastric. This is all one muscle. And as you can see, this is the anterior belly and then this would be considered the posterior belly of digastric. Following anteriorly to the posterior belly of digastric would be the stylohyoid. Comes from the styloid process to the hyoid bone. And that's why it's nice. And then the next one is just underneath the anterior belly of digastric. As you can see, if I kind of tilted it here, you'll be able to see some of the muscle fibers kind of coming in and making like a shelf from the milo line of the mandible. All this stuff going in this kind of direction. So if I were to kind of draw it, it would be these guys coming down. That's the mylohyoid, the mylohyoid. If I were to cut the digastric, and the mylohyoid and strip that away, I'd find a muscle that looks almost identical to that of the anterior belly of digastric. And it looks coming anteriorly to the hyoid bone. This would be what we call the genial hyoid. So that's the genial hyoid muscle. Uh, and those are the four muscles of the suprahyoid muscles. Digastric with its two bellies. Stylohyoid, just anterior to that. Mylohyoid coming across like a sheet of mylar, and then the genial hyoid coming down like this. So that's the suprahyoid muscles. The infrahyoid muscles are even a little bit uh, more simply, simply laid out. We have one that does have a strange name, like a diastric. It's called the omohyoid. So you'll find this is the omohyoid coming from the hyoid bone. Down comes a sling off the clavicle and then becomes and attaches to the shoulder. Omo means shoulder, and so omohyoid. And then we have sternohyoid, literally because it comes from the sternum to the hyoid bone. And then notice this, this is the thyroid cartilage. And then we get this guy that comes from the sternum up to the thyroid cartilage. That would be called sternothyroid. And then the last muscle is this guy, which we call the sternal, or sorry, since we, this is the thyroid cartilage, we call it the thyrohyoid. Yes, we have the cryogothyroid, but don't worry about that. Uh, this is this, the thyrohyoid. Hyoid. So four muscles I want you to know, omohyoid, sternohyoid, sternothyroid, thyrohyoid. All right, let's walk through uh, the last compartment, and that's the posterior triangle of the neck. In the posterior triangle of the neck, we just get three muscles that I want you to know, and that is the scalenes. We have the anterior, middle, and posterior scalenes. One of the biggest hints about the scalenes is that uh, the in between the, oops, sorry, in between the anterior and the middle scalenes are gonna be a bunch of nerves. And you can see these nerves coming through here. So this would have to be the anterior scalene, middle scalene, because the nerves come in between, and then this is the posterior scalene. All right, let's review all of the muscles that we had described. Sternocleidoid, mastoid, digastric, from here and here, stylohyoid, mylohyoid, Geniohyoid, omohyoid, sternohyoid, sternothyroid, and then thyrohyoid. And then on the lateral side, anterior scalene, nerves, middle scalene, and then posterior scalene.